Hi everybody, this is the long-awaited part three to the assembly of my hydrogen generator. This generator has been installed in my car for over a month now and I just now had time to take it out and explain the rest of the components and how I assembled it. Uh, when you last saw this uh, generator, the bottom here was sealed on but these rods weren't installed yet and uh, so what I did is I drilled and tapped a hole, 3816 hole in the bottom of this HDPE end cap on the bottom and uh, this is a stainless steel screw, neoprene washer and a sealing washer inside that and that's the drain plug that keeps anything from leaking out. I also scribed lines on my end cap so that I could drill my holes. I drilled four holes but I'm only using two for three eight screws to go all the way through the all thread. Did the same thing on the top and I installed the all thread, started to tighten it down. I heated the top part of this outer pipe, this uh, the housing and slightly tightened down these screws and it uh, forced the pipe slightly into this end cap. I didn't want to melt it entirely to it. I just wanted to make an impression of the pipe on the end cap so that it would seal tightly. On the top I have a hole with the wire, the uh, positive coming out and I, uh, I just epoxied the wire to this uh, fill plug the fill tube here so the wire wouldn't move around too much here I have a, a brass fitting 90 degree elbow I drilled and tapped a hole in here for the, for the pipe thread I threaded it in and this is my gas outlet right here so this is going to be the fill tube here I'll put a 3 8 tube on here with an end cap on the tube and um, that'll be for filling the generator this is my gas outlet and now I can go and set up the generator and you can see the production okay well here's my cell hooked up outside I have it attached to the uh, car battery so it's running off the car's power and uh, it's being bubbled through water that's about 60 degrees Fahrenheit so I'm going to be measuring cold gas here and it's the uh, cell is drawing just about 20 amps, so about 20 and a half amps. This container here, the bottle that I'll be measuring the gas in for one minute, it's uh, 1.1 liters is what it takes filled all the way to the top. So I'm going to pause the uh, camera here because I don't have an assistant. I'll put the cap on it, turn it right back on, and we'll measure the gas for one minute. Okay, we're five seconds into it. Let's just watch how much we produce in a minute. Looks like it's going to fill up the bottle before the minute's over. <laughs> Thirty-five seconds. Forty-five seconds. Fifty-five seconds. And a minute. And it looks like just about one liter. Just about one liter in a minute. A little bit more than a liter, maybe. But that's cold gas, and the amp draw is up to 22 amps. And so 22 amps in one minute produces about 1.1 liter of cold hydrogen oxygen gas. 
and that's it. Here you can see, let me get this back under water just in case it decides to ignite and blow us all up. Here we have uh, the outlet tube, and here where it goes into the smaller tube, I just put this self-sealing tape. It's like a plumber's self-sealing tape. It doesn't even feel sticky, but it molds to whatever you stretch it around and makes a really good seal. So I put that there and I even put some here around the wire because I was afraid that even though I put all this goop on here that we'd have some kind of a leak. And it's definitely not leaking. Here my fill tube, I have a just a little pipe that I bent and put around there. I put the self-sealing tape around and self-sealing tape on the end so no gas can escape through there. And it looks good. I mean, that's really good production. The cell does really well. And uh, where I have it installed in my vehicle, I'll show you. This is where it goes way down in the bumper well. Down here, if I go underneath, I'll pause it for a second so I can zoom back. This is where it's located. Down here, underneath the car, underneath the bumper well, all the way up in there. Here's my bracket, my mounting surface, and that's where I put my hydrogen generator because that's the only place that I could fit it in my vehicle. Then here I have what I affectionately call the bomb. It's a sealed container. It acts almost like a bubbler. The uh, gas comes up from the generator into this uh, tube, which is not totally filled with water. It acts almost like a reserve, so it's filled up to about here with water. And then the gas travels out here into a check valve. It's coiled in front of the exhaust manifold, and if you feel this, this is very hot right now, so it keeps the gas hot. If any uh, liquid gets into the tube, it'll turn into steam in this, in this tube. Then it comes up through a one-way check valve, through the back flash arrestor, and into the intake right there, just before the butterfly. And that's all, folks.